I've got all the control wires that normally uh, go to your your copter coming to the control box. Now I'll show you how to assemble and wire up the control box. We've got an S bus lead coming to it. We've got the switch lead coming to it. That's to switch the camera on and off. And we've got the record start stop. Um, record start stop lead coming to the box. Now these are the bits that you're going to need for the box. You'll need three male to male servo leads um, for the wiring unless you want to make make up your own wiring. Um, now you also need three of these what they call servo testers and you can buy them on eBay for about three or four pounds each. What they are in fact is a PWM signal generators. They generate a PWM signal which luckily for us the camera can read. So we can produce a PWM signal sent to the camera for any of the camera functions that we want to use like uh, zoom, focus, aperture, shutter speed, um, record on off and so on. For this project I need three of these, one for aperture, one for focus and one for uh, zoom. So I've already mounted one in the control box. There's one here which I'll show you how to put it together and one here for the aperture. So this is the front panel, the control box. I've done it in translucent so the LED lights can show through and see if it's working or not. And you can adjust the aperture on the front of that panel. There's also a latching push button. Latching is important, not a momentary push button. You press that and you can start recording. Press again and it will stop recording. Now I'm using a PWM to S bus converter. Again, you can find these on the internet. And that will amalgamate the three PWM signals from the three servo testers or signal generators into a single S bus signal to go to the camera. I'm using S bus because you only need one wire. If you don't want to use the S bus generator, you'll have to have separate wires for each channel that you're using to control the camera. So there's going to be more wires uh, going through the gimbal. But you can do that if you like. You'll save yourself a bit of money on the on the S bus converter. I think they cost about ten dollars or something from China. Okay, so this is how you you wire it up. I've mounted one of the servo testers in the signal box um, and that is connected to a thumb wheel so as you can adjust the focus with a thumb wheel. I, I, I do it like that because, and let me just adjust the angle, when you're holding the brushless gimbal, control, uh, when you're holding the the gimbal, um, you can easily control the focus, which is the control that you're going to use the most often, because there's no automatic focus on the Black Magic. Uh, so you can just adjust the focus with the thumb nib, thumb, thumb wheel, and of course you'll see the focus on the monitor, which is also mounted on the on the on the gimbal. Now this is how you do it: you take your your servo tester, pull the knob off, slip the servo tester into the control box, one other side, just slip it in there and, and if you can see that, but the shaft of the knob goes through the hole there on the right. These are handed. The holes are in a slightly different position because the um, servo isn't sort of fully 
servo tester is that the knob isn't fully in the center. You then take the the knurled thumb wheel, slip that in over the shaft. Might be a little bit difficult to do that. Let's slip it in there. And the last thing you do, and this is quite fiddly, is you take the knob and you push it through the hole on the side. If you see it, the hole on the side and push it onto the shaft. It's quite fiddly, I'm going to take it off to do it, but you, you, get, the, you get the idea. And that will lock the servo tester in place. I've already done the one on the left. There, like that. So that's what you, you're aiming for. Um, I'll, I'll just do that now and then show you how to insert the S-Bus generator and connect the wires up. Well, I've got that in there, so I've got two thumb, uh, two thumb wheels, one for focus and one for zoom. The third control is the aperture, and that is the servo is mounted in the lid. With its normal, with the normal button on. I now take a servo lead and connect. I've got three of them. It's a servo lead there. I connect each one to the servo tester. They've got four connectors. You only need to use one of them, and it's labelled which side is ground, the center is 5 volts and the the other one is a signal. So I've attached the cable to that one. This one is the other way around. So attach the cable to that one. And lastly we attach a cable. Let's just check if I can see that in the camera. Yeah. Lastly, I attach a cable to the aperture control and that goes that way around. Okay, I'll zoom out a bit so that you can see how I connect that to the, the S-Bus generator. Right, I've got the S-Bus generator here. It's got 20 PWM channels and the connector at the end is the S-Bus output. So I connect the S-Bus output to the camera to connection number one. There we go. And the ground is to the middle. No, it's not. It's the other side. Signals to the middle. I think. I'll have to check on that. Um, and then we've, we're using a single PWM channel to record. I'm going to use channel 20 for that and just connect that single wire to the signal cable. That will control the record on off. The next one Channel 19, for the aperture, shove that in. You need to configure your camera, by the way, to read these S-Bus channels. So your mileage may vary, you might be using a different channel. And the next channel I will use for zoom. And the next channel I will use for focus. That's all wired up now. Um, no, it's not. Sorry, we don't connect the record start stop directly to the PWM channel. 
we've got to take it via the push button switch because that's the record switch so we connect that to one side of the record switch I've put an easy connector on there there and the other side of the record switch goes to channel PWM channel 20 don't forget you need to configure your camera to read PWM twi channel 20 as the record start stop so that's all wired up now and all we need to do is put it in the box and tidy up the cables and then fasten the front panel onto it I've kept the front panel printed out of translucent material because then you can see the LEDs through the translucent material and it looks quite pretty so I will just do that now the, um, the S bus um, generator um, you can put it with double sided sticky onto the area there and this the aperture servo will fit nicely in there and will be tickety boo I'll just put that all together now right there we have the control box all wired up and ready to go all we need to do now is plonk the top on snap it in and fix it with uh, three you know, sunken head screws and then our uh, gimbal is all wired up and it's ready to start setting up the Lexmos and balancing the camera that's my next task I'll just do that there's plenty of stuff on YouTube about how to set up the Lexmos gimbal and how to balance cameras so I'll just do it and then go through it quickly with you I won't bore you to tears by spending hours online showing you how to do it <laughs> 